Hi, this is Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I am very, very sleepy today, so I'll be probably making a lot of mistakes. I'm already recording this for the second time because I just couldn't focus. But anyways, that's the second Bambi uh, little golden book journal that I made. That's made very, um, in a very similar way to the previous Bambi because it has four signatures and it's made with very similar papers and stuff. So there's fabric on the spine and a rick rack here. This is of course a vintage book and detachable tassel on a blue ring made with crinkled seam binding lace and stuff. And this is also detachable charm. One of those cute resin um, mushrooms, really cute. So for signatures, as you can see fabric rick rack here mix of papers this is perfect for be um, background for a picture fabric so there's some trims here I'm just going to go rather quick fabric here again that's a perfect uh, spot for a picture this is removable so you can add a picture behind it and this is just ephemera you can glue it somewhere else you could glue it here maybe even glue it on the frog's head stamping middle of the first signature as you can see variety of papers beautiful cardstock paper sari silk owl because there are birds here and this is paper so you can journal on this lined paper so a lot of journaling spots this is um actually daphne's diary i just had leftover piece and this is fabric here so of course you can tear it out if you don't want it and or you could add something underneath it this kind of looks foresty so this way i have fox here i actually saw a couple foxes little foxes baby foxes playing in our neighborhood yesterday really cute this is also paper. So there's frog. This is uh, friendship and stuff. So, you know, they're friends. And the colors all also work together. This is sari silk. Vintage book pages, birds green on the side lined paper here's the Bambi greeting card or note card I don't know exactly how you call these things journaling card this is coffee dye paper so each signature has one coffee dye paper you could use these in so many ways as well um, some ephemera here so you could even glue it, pieces like this, you can and uh, glue, glue the whole thing on a page. When you're using the journal, um, you can just be creative. Stamped postcard, bingo card. You can really make amazing things with these uh, extras that you have here. That's um, a paper cut right here. That's a little paper. You can journal here too. A lined paper again. No digitals. That's all store-bought uh, paper, those journals or uh, notebooks. I've had them somewhere here. And I was showing them in a, uh, one of my previous videos. That's the that's the thing. It's like it says journal, but it's um, I think they're um, what are they called? <laughs> this one says journal again. I don't know exactly how we call these things. 
I take uh, paper out of these and I include them in my journals. This is why you get this variety of different papers here. This one I'm saying there's, um, there are no digitals because there really aren't. This is also paper. This could be a spot for a picture right here. There's a little tuck spot here. So you could put a picture maybe somewhere in the middle here. And there you have it. And you can add ephemera um, somewhere maybe in the corner of the picture to decorate it. All sorts of things here. This is beautiful, I love this one. Then there's guest check. Of course you can use it however you want to. And there's a tag, journaling cards, stay uh, curious. And lately, <clears throat> you can read all those things later on when you purchase the journal if you're interested in it. Uh, that's just a tag, but really pretty colors and matched um, here. That's twine with silver thread going through it. And that's coffee dyed. But I just had extra piece of paper, so I thought this was cute. That's tax but made with this uh, Daphne's Diary paper. Love this. So this one is lined paper. And just like in one of these, it was one of these things actually. That's uh, Hulk, I guess. That's fabric. So a lot of ephemera, an extra paper. Middle of the journal, it's a little flower here. That's fabric, a little ruffle. This is origami paper. Stamped, little bunny. Of course, you could glue it here, for example. <clears throat> so this is the same card that I've had before, so I will have to change it because I don't like to repeat uh, here, that's the same one, yes. Okay, I don't have anything here, but I will have to remember. Jelly, uh, jelly, <laughs> jingle bell. And a few things in here. This would be great for a background, for a picture. Library card. That's just from some game. Game ephemera. It's another journaling card and something fun and colorful that you could somehow uh, incorporate in a journal. I'm going to replace it and to mark this somehow so I don't forget. This is vintage wallpaper. It's paper again. Middle of the signature. It's just a little tuck spot here. That's fabric. And the ephemera here. So you could even glue it on this side here. That's Tim Holtz paper. I love this paper. 
it's the little things it says so cute and then this is a little booklet That's sorry silk. That's fabric here. That's the origami paper. And last signature. Here is the Hobby Lobby uh, wired ribbon I was showing in many videos before. And here I have birds, so I included the bird houses, the, one of those tear out pages for craft ideas. That's fixed paper, but of course you can cut it off if you don't like it. This is also paper. This is coffee dyed paper. Stamp. Packaging paper, book pages, sari silk. That's a little tuck right here, made with paper, uh, coffee dyed ruffle paper. And then this um, <laughs> is the manila tag I had. And so I had leftover Inca gold from this on my uh, brush. So I just decided to uh, use it instead of cleaning the brush, just use it on a tag. And first I was thinking to collage it myself, but then I left it for you so you could, and I inked it around it so you can do whatever you want with it, but it's really shiny and smooth and pretty. And then this cute ephemera. Lined paper again with stamping. That's sorry silk. Stamp here. And this says notes. Birds. I actually like how these colors work with these colors here. Guess check. Stuck spot. Fabric. And that's the end of the journal fabric, as you can see with Rick Rack. So that's the journal. Uh, this journal is available at my Etsy shop if you follow the link. Um, I hope you enjoyed some of the ideas that I had in this book. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.